I now call on Dr. Wendy Green, Acting Chief Director, Teaching and Learning Development, Department of Higher Education and Training. And Wendy, please allow me just to say a few words. Uh, I must acknowledge also your very important role and also the role of Dr. Diane Parker. You believed in this project from the very beginning. You gave your unwavering support, you gave your ear and you gave your advice. We really, really appreciate everything that, that you've done up to now. And I hope that we will still be partners for a long time to take teaching schools also to other universities in this country. Chancellor Ndebele, um, Prof. Rensberg, uh, Ambassador Van Geer, uh, Prof. Kravitz, honored guests, friends and colleagues, thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words at this auspicious occasion. I stand in the big shoes of um, the Minister, uh, Dr. Nzimande, who should have been here, but um, couldn't because of other pressing engagements and did send his uh, sincere apologies. Um, I'm saying a few words on his behalf, but I've tinkered with the speech, so <laughs> also a few of my words as well. Um, the Ministry and the Department of Higher Education and Training warmly congratulates the University of Johannesburg and specifically the Faculty of Education on the official opening of the Funda Ujavula Teaching School. We are very proud of our association with the university um, on multiple levels and in multiple partnerships. In, indeed, we see ourselves not a funder but a partner of the University of Johannesburg. Um, what stands out for me is that these partnerships have been characterized by a willingness by the university to take measured risks in the interest of the nation and in nation building. And um, to often put themselves on the line in being willing to contribute to strategic objectives um, in education and development. Um, the enthusiasm which the university demonstrated in a, uh, partnering with the Department of Higher Education and Training to establish the uh, Siabuswa Teacher Education Campus is one such example. I'm going out on a limb to establish a campus very far away from any of its campuses and in a rural setting that needed a lot of support was indeed a major step to take and a courageous one. Um, that campus is now um, well on its way to becoming fully established as a campus of the University of Mpumalanga and in no small measure we should give thanks to the University of Johannesburg. Uh, another rewarding collaboration has been the establishment of the South African Journal of Childhood Education, um, which uh, Prof uh, Henning uh, described earlier on. Um, really proud of the fact that we could establish such an important journal over such a short space of time. And Prof Henning has to be, Albi has to be thanked for that. Um, she's uh, become known as a mother of childhood education in the country. <laughs> Uh, and not just an academic and a very good researcher. The DHGT made the decision to invest in the development of the Funda Ujabula Teaching School through the allocation of an infrastructure and efficiency grant to support uh, the building um, of the school. And then through other funding that supported other qualitative aspects that enabled uh, the full establishment of the school. Um, in line with the integrated strategic planning framework that um, Charlotte described earlier on, um, which views these kind of schools as very important vehicles for strengthening teacher education in the country. Uh, this teaching school is the first of such schools in the democratic dispensation. And we trust that the real model it uh, provides will serve as a stimulus for the development of more of these schools in the country. The medium to long-term vision is that we have such schools attached to every single university that offers teacher education in the country. Because they viewed as an important strategy to enhance the quality of initial teacher education and uh, to um, diminish the theory practical divide um, that we, uh, we have been hearing about. The research that has been conducted and the lessons that have been learned as part of fully establishing this school and the teaching school linked to the University of Pum in Pumalanga have highlighted key processes that we'll, we're going to need to follow, resources that we need and the challenges that we're going to have to overcome if we're going to establish more such schools in the country. Um, the research has also highlighted the immense potential of such schools for teacher education. 
and for research in controlled environments, into teaching, into learning, and into <coughs> teacher education. Specifically, the opportunity that teaching schools offer for teacher education to be embedded in real teaching practice cannot be overestimated. We are definitely going to get better beginner teachers as a result of this kind of initiative. The DHET wishes to thank UJ and the Faculty of Education for the foresight in establishing such a school and the grit in sticking to the task, even when challenges seemed insurmountable. This can in no small measure be attributed to the leadership provided by uh, Prof. Gravett and to the Vice Chancellor for supporting the vision. Um, it would be remiss of the DHET if we fail to acknowledge the contribution of other partners who are materially and conceptually supporting the work to expand and strengthen teacher education. The DHET values the immense support um, being received from the European Union delegation. Um, and the ambassador, ambassador has described a new program that we're currently embarking on. Our next five years' work is cut out for us. Mm -hmm. Really exciting, though, because I think we are going to be able to do many more really useful things as a result of the support from the European Union. Um, Alma Foundation, uh, uh, USAID, and Xenex Foundation have been other partners that we've had direct um, relationships with. Um, MTN, I think we uh, want to be coming to your door to say, come along, come on board. Uh, <laughs> um, your, your contributions to teach ed education in the country are making a significant difference. On the 8th of September, in this very same venue, we will be communicating the findings of research projects um, that uh, have been conducted into the establishment of teaching schools, led by Prof. Gravett, and uh, the partner schools, which we have termed professional practice schools, led by uh, Prof. Robinson. Um, we hope that uh, the communication during that occasion and the fact that we'll have quite a wide representation from deans and colleagues from the other universities across the country will enable them to see the vision in a physical reality and will provide the impetus for the establishment of these schools in other places. Thank you very much. Witty, thank you once again for your support. And um, you know, Witty has become a very good friend of all the deans of education in this country because he understands education and he always has an ear open for the issues and the problems and also good words of advice to help us to move forward. So thank you, Witty. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.